All right, caller? Yes. Uh, you have a question for Andrew? Yes. Well, I only just tuned in a couple of minutes ago. Okay. But um, I, um, my interest is in your tone. Your tone is very clear, and your information sounds pretty sound. I wish I had heard more. Mm -hmm. I'm just curious as to what your take on... Uh, well, not only Edgar Casey said, but a lot of other beings have said about the Arcturians and the Hathorian beings. All right, you want to know specifics about Arcturians and their positions here? I've actually done a tremendous amount of information on the Arcturians. Um, they're a light-based species that operate in the blue ray spectrum of technology, which means they can understand the, the spectrum of blue energy. And when you come here to Earth, you have the seven ray layers of, of expression, which are the seven colors. And the blue colors can experience the lower density colors very differently. They can fork their streams from here to there and, and coexist here on Earth and Arcturus at the same time if they can get themselves into a DNA lineage that's locked into a paradox timeline. And this is where consciousness exploration communities of Arcturians began collecting other beings from other worlds. What these Arcturians do, they would unmanifest their physical bodies and then become energy and travel between one solar system and another and then be invited to land as energy beings on a planet, manifest as a crystalline ship. So thousands of Arcturians could be manifest into one single crystalline ship. The doors would open, the beings would get out, and they'd become part of a consciousness exploration community, which would then come to Earth with a wide variety of DNA assortments so that they can begin searching through the vast vo volumes of human beings existing to figure out how to fork a source stream into a DNA lineage so that a coexisting being or a single existing bacterian can be essentially streamed into the birthing process of Earth bypassing the astral field controlled by the uh, the different uh, Archon grids. Well, I don't know if you're a young man or an old man, but you are brilliant, and uh, I'm rather impressed with your answer and the detail of your data. I wish you looked closer. I'd like to have coffee with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, very few people have the audacity nor the strength of their conviction or their own truth to, to truth speak at such a level. Yeah, and I'm quite impressed. And Thank you. Uh, is there is there a uh, website or anything that I can link up to uh, to uh, find out yeah, more what if, you have to say? If you'd like, you can go to my website, galactichistorian.com. If you type my name, Andrew Bartz, is B A R T Z I S, in Google, you'll see about four thousand videos that are out there of different people using the material. You'll see a, a twenty part series I did with Lance White last year. Um, where I did the entire 54 million year timeline readout of our world of what happened the last 54 million years, the description of the timeline paradoxes. You'll also see me do a bunch of reading shows where, like what I was just telling you about Arcturians, um, mm -hmm. much of that comes through and shows that I had a lot of Arcturians, a lot of Pleiadians, a lot of people calling, and I would do their past life associations of different lives in those different worlds and how it related here to this Earth resolution time. So you'll uh -huh. hear me do reading shows where you'll hear much more of that type of content where you'll talk about, I'll talk about the Hathors, the Olgons, the Ansec communities. Um, in different callers, I'd get, you know, you know, 300,000 daily listeners at that point. Oh, that's great. Oh. Fantastic. So I have one last question if possible. That's fine. What's your name? Sure. Sir? What's your name, sir? Uh, my name? Yeah, just curious. Uh, it's Henry Carter. Okay. What, what would be your simple best advice for someone who's been contacted by the Arcturians? Ooh, ceremony. Absolutely ceremony, ceremony, ceremony. Dense <laughs> energies can brilliant. stick to you very easy like flies on poop. Um, so you need to make sure you smudge your area or figure out a belief system that clears dense energy from your area. Fire ceremonies are the best unless you have waterfalls in your area, which you can regularly meditate under. Um, if you can do both, even better. Um, from there, you'll have conscious orbs, which are different layers of conscious exploration vehicles that would try to communicate deeper layers of DNA wisdom to you. Yeah, Pay very orbs, close attention to your root chakra orbs, and how it interacts with your, your sacrum and your sacral and your hara or your center. Mm -hmm. um, that's Correct. where the dense energy will try at your your 
belly button to influence through, through mother programming um, to lead you away from the Arcturians because they always know when they're communicating to you. There's a specific frequency, but, but there are Absolutely. certain consciousness communities that come in and give you a blanket protection and a way to communicate through them through a backdoor if not being detected. But it requires you to create the language of rooting through your sacrum, through your through your solar, so that your heart is speaking the words of your soul truth co-worded with the soul truth of what the Arcturians are trying to present in theme so you can learn their psychic alphabet mm, right. of creation. Hey, hey, Henry, I had a question for you. What's, what's your interest? Um, uh, why are you interested in the Arcturians? Just curious. Uh, myself, um, I myself am also an extremely uh, lifelong uh, metaphysician who has worked specifically in psychic research and with interdimensional uh, research and beings, and uh, I was uh, obviously it was serendipitous for me to hear this communication on the radio today because this gentleman who's speaking is probably one of the most brilliant people I've heard in a long time, and I'm quite impressed. Great. Well, I'm glad you Thank tuned you. in. Well, I, out of curious, how, how did you come across come across this broadcast? Because what I teach about is called One Degree of Separation, mm. and that puts the willies up the Octarian spine when I really talk about that, because it's, their, it's the greatest way to figure out collective consciousness. Well, um, I'll just simply say that I was a student of Grandfather David Mananga of the Hopi Indians, amongst many other masters in my lifetime, and the Arcturian connection is a genetic connection for me as well. Okay. You know, through the Dog Star series. Right. So how did, how did this show come to you? What synchronicity said, I'm going to listen to this show? Uh... I have to say that it was uh, a moment where I was conquering uh, a relationship with a burn I had, actually, with some aloe vera, and I said I'm going to tur turn on the local radio station because there's something available for me to connect to. Mm. There you go. <laughs> and that's community radio yeah. doing its service. Yeah. That's where Brattleboro Radio's one degree of separation and my one degree of separation just brought this creation together that wasn't potentially predicted by anything in timeline viewing sight which is the other big Arcturian teaching. <laughs> Be aware of people looking at you through time. Mm. Absolutely. Well, when we're, we're living in this third-dimensional time-space frequency, we live in a linear space. They live in past, present, and future all at once. So we have a hard time even comprehending that, much less um, you know, moving in that direction frequency-wise. Exactly. In the new layer of consciousness exploration, we'll be learning how to blend the colors of the crown chakra and the root chakra to create healing wave patterns so the Arcturian blue wave technology can decrystallize the third eye that we have on the multidimensional level, not our physical crystallization. This is the, the things that blur our ability to see what our blue bodies are doing on other levels of reality, trying to resolve other karmic issues or non-karmic or energetic issues with your land or other entities. Absolutely. Well, there's a lot of work to, to, be, to do to live correctly. <laughs> we, we must all understand this more precisely along the way. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Ceremony, Absolutely. ceremony, yeah. ceremony, yeah, ceremony you man. Tell your story to the fire. The that Arcturians will, 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 will giggle their, their heart silly when you actually try to tell them their whole, your whole story. Yeah. <laughs> They're already laughing. I'm clear audience as well. Um, but uh, is your information for your website available at this radio station as well? Because you spoke it so quickly, and I'm, vib I'm vibrating at a high frequency right now, and I wasn't even able to find a pen. I had to settle back down in order to... <laughs> um, I, I think so, if you just go, if you just type my name, Andrew Bartsis, into into Google, you'll get all all of my information. Andrew. My main website, YouTube. Yeah, Andrew okay. Bartsis, B A R T uh, Z I S Z I S. There we go. Z I S. Yeah, Z as in. Uh, well, you are beyond an angel, and and you know what that means to all of us. Thank you. Thanks for the call. Thank you. I wish uh, I had hours to speak with you, my friend. I know, right? <laughs> may you move into be always in beauty and light. Farewell. Thanks. All right. Farewell. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Wow. I love it when callers like that come through. <laughs> and, and I was listening intently. of like, yeah, how, how is he listening to the show? <laughs> what, what, how'd that come where about? Where did it come from? <laughs> yeah, where did that come from? What brought this out? That's and, called magic. And, yeah, Synchronicities. 